Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a relational database design in Microsoft Access 2016. Now, whenever I create a table in uh, Access, I cannot start entering the data directly into it. It needs to have a relationship. For an example, that we have a customer database in which uh, I have the customer information and I have what the product they have purchased. All right. So I will create two different tables in which the first table will have the customer information and the next table will have the item or the product they have purchased the information of that particular product. So if you try to create a table which have both the fields together, it will create a very confusing database. So for the same reason, we use a relational database design system to create a database which will be perfect and which will be easy to understand as well. Now as per this slide, it says that instead we create a relational database design dividing your information into one or more tables. We cannot take every data all together in one table and represent it because it will be very difficult to create a form for the same. It will be difficult to create a report and rest of the things. So in order to, the, to, in order to avoid such kind of mistake or in uh, order to make our database more specific and more structured, I use a relationship database design system which will make our database much more attractive and much more presentable. We will have a better understanding how to create such kind of database in our practical approach. So let's go ahead and create that. So in order to do it, I am creating a new database altogether. So I'll move to the file tab and select new and I'll click on blank database. I will name this uh, database as driving school database. All right. So I'm just typing this driving school. All right. And I'll simply create. All right. So now I have a table ready with me. Now let's go ahead and modify this table. So I will go under the design view. Yes, I would like to save this table and this will be a student table. So these are the students who, who will be enrolling for the driving school. So I'll name this as student table and simply hit OK. So automatically it has take, uh, taken as uh, ID as your primary key. So I'll make this, this as student ID. So it's a unique value and it has already assigned a primary key to it. It will be an auto number. Let's give it a title. All right, which will be again a short text. We can also create a lookup visit for the same that it should be Mr. Mrs. All right, so I simply hit next. Yes, I'll give it the name that it should be Mr. Miss or a Mrs. All right, so I simply hit next. I hit finish. Now I have a drop down menu for the same. Okay, so we have create a lookup field. Okay, let's go ahead and check if I, yes, I'd like to save this table now I, under the title. I have yes, Mr. Mrs. Okay, now we'll go ahead and go under the design tab. We'll add the first name. The first name again, it will be a short text. The last name again, it will be a short text. Let me add the I need to add the address out here under the fields name. So I'll directly type address okay and it will be again a short text out here then we'll go to the telephone number so that contact details to be more precise so i'll select this as contact this let's keep this as a short text as well and we'll keep the date of birth or an email so i'll take this date of birth i'll keep this as a short text as well and i'll take this as email so this is the entire detail uh, using uh, the first name the last name address we have the contact date of birth and email okay so let's go ahead and create some database so i'll save this setting okay and i'll move to data sheet view okay under this data sheet view we will go ahead and create some yes if you have this drop down menu Okay, I'll create a drop down menu. Let's add some name. Let's take some random name. Okay, so I'll type this as Ben Geller. All right, address any random address. Avenue Street. Contact details, some random numbers. Okay, so if I go to date, I, I'll type it manually this time. Okay. So I have this date as well. And if I have this email, so I'll type this as Ben G at gmail.com. 
so I have this database let me adjust this I've adjusted the width as well okay now let's go ahead and now this time we'll create a new table this new table will be for let me go ahead and create this new table I'll go to the create tab and I will select a table now it has created a new table and this table name we will give it as before now when I save it it is asking for the name so this will be for instructor so I'm using a new table for the instructor and I'll make this as instructor table all right and I simply hit OK I will go ahead under the design tab under the design tab we will make the changes we have this ID so this time it will be instructor ID instead of uh, student ID that's right we have instructor ID it will be auto number again same thing let's go ahead and add a title this time we'll keep it as short text the first name again same thing I have the first name short text I have the last name okay then we'll take the same details address okay and contact details so I'll simply click on contact details and that's it and the city from here he is from okay so now we have all the details for the instructor as well okay we have the short text and we have rest or uh, we have created a field in such a way that we have all the details for the instructor okay so we'll go ahead and save this so I'll go to data sheet view yes you want to save this table I will save this table give it a title as mr. John D'Souza okay take any random address 5th Alpine Road A random contact okay city New York you can take any city you'd like to and that's it we have created a table for uh, this uh, instructor table as well now the next thing which I'd like to do is I have to create a table for the lesson like what are the lessons that will be involved or when the student has arrived to the Institute and which lessons he has learned so I'll create a new table for the same I'll create a table and this time it will be will go under the structure the design view right I want to save this table and this will be as lesson table all right I simply hit ok and uh, let's go ahead and this time it the it will be for lesson number so this will be a unique number again this will be auto number and then I'll give it as a student ID which student has opted for the same so again it will be given it as I'll give it this uh, a data type as number out here then instructor ID which uh, instructor has given this particular lesson so I am having the instructor ID and this will be again a number okay we have the date of lesson We have date of lesson and this time we'll keep this as date and time okay and start time right this will be again the data type I'll keep this as time then length of the lesson okay meeting point and lesson type I'll take this as meeting point okay and let's keep this as lesson type so now we have created this table they have created the structure for the same okay now let's save this so I'll save it from here now we'll create a one more new table and this time this table will be for the type of the lesson so I'll go under the design view name this as lesson type okay and simply hit ok all right now this will be for lesson type okay it will be again a short text out here I want this to be a short text and the cost involved in it and this will be for currency so I'll make this as currency all right so now let's save this details now we will close all the tables because we do not require them so I'll close all these tables all right so now yes I would like to save the structure now I'll move to the 
database tool and under the database tool we'll try to create a relationship between them so i'll go to the database tool i'll select relationship and i'll get all these tables ready with me so i'll say add i'll select this add i'll select both them and i've added now i have all these uh, tables ready with me now we'll try to create a relationship database so that we can get a hang of it what we have to do so we'll go ahead and drag this student id we'll drag the student id if you can see all these fields out here just give me a moment so that i can arrange this particular tables i want to arrange it in a proper format so let's go ahead and arrange the tables i'll create this like this okay so that we have all the table ready with me now i'll expand this table so that i have all the fields ready okay we can see all this field ready so i'll take this instructor id and drag it here okay so we have this edit relationship now i'll enforce the referential integrity i would like to uh, update the related field cascade and update the related field and also i'd like to select this okay and i'll simply click on create now also I will drag the student ID from the student table and create a relationship between this uh, both the tables again enforce the referential integrity I'll simply click on create so basically it has create a relationship in such a way uh, from one to many and out here it's also one to many also the lesson type from here I will simply select this and drag it here okay now again I'll make sure that I have uh, tick this checkbox and simply hit on create so now this is how I create a relationship database where it is uh, interrelated with each other okay so if you want to change the relationship between them I will simply select this uh, line I will right click and click on edit relationship and if you want to change the relationship you can simply select it from here and if you want to change the joint type as well you can simply select on joint type and select whatever relationship you'd like to create among them okay I'll simply hit OK and cancel. So guys, this is how you can create a relationship database in Microsoft Access 2016.